Have you ever wondered what it takes to build the stage for launching humanity's future missions to Mars? The spotlight for today's discussion illuminates the recent major upgrades at SpaceX's Starbase launch pad. Just last week, the enigmatic CEO of SpaceX, Musk, set a one-month deadline for the completion of these substantial enhancements via a tweet. It's apparent the SpaceX team is revving up for significant strides. The installation work taking place is substantial and transformative. The present state of the groundwork reveals a sprawling web of holes drilled into the earth, each containing a rebar cage that's subsequently filled with concrete. The ground drill, visibly busy at work, is positioned over Cripping, a softer ground, drilling holes that rapidly fill with water due to the shallow water table at Boca Chica. The site is captivating, to say the least. Moreover, sheet pilings are being added around the perimeter of the orbital launch mount. These will form a sturdy retaining wall that can be excavated for installing pipework and steel water-cooled plates. Based on these remarkable developments, SpaceX appears well on track to meet its deadline. Some might question why an innovative company like SpaceX, capable of tackling complex challenges in the space industry, experienced such significant damage to its launch pad. However, it's crucial to remember that this was not the result of just another rocket launch. It was the Starship, the most powerful rocket to ever exist, that caused this damage. The magnitude of this launch was extraordinary. The Starship's 33 first-stage Raptor engines generated an estimated 16.5 million pounds of thrust when firing at full capacity. To put this into perspective, NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS Mega Rocket, which previously held the title for the most powerful rocket to fly successfully, generates 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. The difference in power becomes quite clear when considering the aftermath of each launch. While the SLS launch left some damage at Pad 39B, the fallout from Starship's debut was far more significant, causing a crater beneath the orbital launch mount and widespread damage from flying debris. However, given the exceptional power of Starship, the scale of damage was not wholly unexpected. In light of these extraordinary circumstances, we should perhaps not see this event as a failure, but rather as an incredible demonstration of what these new, super-powerful rockets are capable of. Even the fact that the launch pad withstood this massive force to the extent that it did is something of an engineering triumph. Uniquely, the Starbase's orbital launch mount does not feature a flame trench, a common structure in most launch pads designed to deflect plume exhaust away from the pad during liftoff. SpaceX did consider the installation of a flame trench at Starbase, but decided against it. Musk had even mentioned his aspiration for not having a flame diverter in Boca back in October 2020, acknowledging that this could be a potential mistake. However, SpaceX and Musk continue to envision a future for Starbase that does not involve a flame trench. Despite the damage, Musk revealed on Twitter that SpaceX began constructing a massive water-cooled steel plate to go under the launch mount three months ago. Although the plate wasn't ready in time for the debut Starship launch, the company proceeded, believing that the underlying concrete, a special heat-resistant type called Fondag, could withstand one liftoff. This determination was based on data from Starship's first full-force static fire in February. Despite the explosive conclusion of the 20th of April launch, SpaceX is investing heavily into the Starship project. SpaceX anticipates having spent $5 billion or more on the Starship vehicle and launch infrastructure by the end of this year. SpaceX has invested over $3 billion into the Boca Chica launch facility and the Starship Super Heavy launch system since 2014. However, this commitment to Starship has currently found itself under scrutiny in court, with SpaceX seeking to intervene in a lawsuit filed against the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, by several environmental and Native American groups. The suit alleges that the FAA carried out an improper environmental review of SpaceX Starship launches from Boca Chica, Texas. The plaintiff's aim is to revoke the existing launch license the FAA issued for Starship Super Heavy Orbital launches from Boca Chica. They claim that the FAA violated environmental law and regulations in the licensing process. Should the plaintiff succeed, SpaceX's business could be severely impacted. As the company outlined in their filing, if the FAA's decision is set aside, further licensing of the Starship Super Heavy program could be significantly delayed, posing a severe injury to SpaceX's business. SpaceX has encountered numerous legal challenges in its history, many involving the FAA. 
The FAA has fined SpaceX in the past for violations related to its launches, including instances where the company proceeded with launches against the FAA's warnings due to safety concerns. These incidents have resulted in tension between the two entities. However, the relationship between SpaceX and the FAA appears to have evolved over time, reflecting a deeper understanding of SpaceX's operational approach and ambition. The FAA's decision to issue a launch license for Starship from Boca Chica signifies a shift in its perspective towards the company. This doesn't mean that the FAA has eased on its regulations, but it indicates that the agency recognizes the revolutionary potential that the Starship represents and is willing to work closely with SpaceX to ensure that its endeavors align with the necessary safety standards. Starship is envisioned to be a fully reusable spacecraft capable of carrying up to 100 people to the red planet Mars. These advancements aren't just about reaching Mars. The broader vision is to fundamentally change the way we approach space travel. Rather than the single-use vehicles of the past, SpaceX is creating spacecraft that function more like traditional airliners, able to complete multiple journeys rather than just one. This represents a far more sustainable and cost-effective model for space exploration. The Starship project builds on SpaceX's impressive track record of successful, innovative rocketry. The Falcon 1, SpaceX's inaugural rocket, made history as the first privately developed liquid fuel rocket to reach orbit. It laid the groundwork for the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy, which have since become workhorses of commercial space launch, serving a variety of clients from private satellite companies to NASA. The Falcon rockets are renowned for their reusability, with the Falcon 9 being the first orbital-class rocket capable of reflight. Thank you for tuning in to our latest update. If you found this video informative and enjoyed our coverage, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.